all going on a yellow submarine. Yellow submarine. No? no, keep going. <laughs> I'm using that whole in the front. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome to another chapter of the Mock Chronicles and today we've got two Highland Parks. We have the Viking Tribe and we have the Dolphin. Who's gonna win? So guys, tell me about them. As you can see, there is a lot of black in uh, the shows today. <laughs> <laughs> so honestly, it's by chance happened that we are all dressed up in black and uh, just so the bottles happen to be dressed in black as well. Right, uh, Highland Park Dolphins uh -huh. originally launched only for the Royal Navy Submarine Service. Mm -hmm. uh, it was 1,500 bottles initially and you couldn't buy them anywhere and suddenly they went up crazy in prices on, uh, on uh, auctions. Everyone was looking for these bottles and then boom, by magic, after one year they got available on their website for only 40 pounds wow. as on auctions they were selling for under 300 pounds and everybody just went once again crazy there was a train called hype and everybody <laughs> jumped on it uh, we uh, picked up uh, <clears throat> just a few bottles That's to fair, see what's yeah. all the fuzz about so you can see as well and uh, we've cracked one open mm -hmm. so we'll see what's uh, with that one Amazing. Maybe. Okay, so let's get down to the other hype train, which was launched <laughs> at the end of the last year. Do you want to tell us about the Viking Tribe? So the Viking Tribe was brought out as an Amazon exclusive. They mm -hmm. made it very special, as you can see on the back here. All about social media, and uh, I hope that zoomed in enough for you. Mm -hmm. um, they've done a non-chill filtered, 46% alcohol volume, and uh, we bought... A couple of those too, I think. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I may have been ripped off a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to get down to that in a minute. But they're both non eight stated whiskies. Uh, we have one here that is 40%, one that's 46 That's interesting as well. Uh, and very, very similar in bottle shapes and size. But I do like this little neck thing that this tribe's got here. Okay, so anyway, let's just Listen, get down to... What, what makes this whiskey is like, what they have in common is marketing. Mm. It's, it's the noise, it's the fuss yeah. they make on, on socials, online. And uh, we just wanted to compare, is that matching the actual quality of the spirit, what's inside? Yeah. Okay? It, it does, does the hype and match the buzz. Exactly, like, and it, also we'd like to add that Highland Park is actually a really one of our favourite whiskeys that we like. So let's get down to it, shall we? Yeah. All right, so we're going to start we'll with the dolphin. dolphin. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh. I mean, it's very, very soft on the nose, isn't it? Very floral. You get that Highland Park nose. Yeah, that, you the, get the that best Highland way to Park describe Heather it. Peep nose, yep, yeah, definitely. You, you get that that Highland Park. But essence. Be, be, besides <laughs> essence, I like. <laughs> besides the honey and heather, there are some some like winter fruits, some berries. Mm. Uh, I said it earlier to David. Uh, he wasn't agree with me. I said black currant. But when you when you have like a black currant jam, I wouldn't say I get so much black currant, but. Yeah, there are winter fruits there. It is much. It is, but they're they're at the back. They're behind that Highland Park sort of whiskey that you always yeah. expect to get on the nose. Mm. I'm actually picking up a little a little hint of citrus though, like a, maybe like a real deep dark like sort of a blood orange. Okay, I smell. So we should we should we, like should, should we dig into taste? Okay. Yeah, please. Yeah, one thing. And I've said it to you before, guys. What impressed me with this whiskey when I've tried it, first thing I've asked is that 40%? Because mm. it was so soft, it was almost like water, like 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 not drinking a whiskey. That will say that it's quite aged stock. But then the beauty happens after like 5-10 seconds, it just explodes in your mouth. Mm -hmm. uh, spiciness, black pepper, uh, some white chocolate. Mm. White chocolate, interesting. Mm. Yeah, I definitely gonna agree with that peppery note, and it does. It, at first, you just feel like this creaminess going down, and then it explodes into that more spicy peppery note that you get. There's a slight hint of um, a peep. I wouldn't say a lot. I would say definitely. smoked wood. So smoked wood. Yeah, smoked wood yeah. would make more sense. Yeah, um, I would say yeah. I'm definitely getting that spicy note as well. Some peppery notes coming through. Um, yeah. 
It's interesting, but it's very, very soft. Like you can literally chew on that whiskey for a long time. It's very, it's, very it's soft. Got a, it's got a very good finish as well. It's not, it doesn't just... Yeah, that, if, if it wasn't for the finish, that would be a big disappointment for me. Mm -hmm. Like the first seconds, I'm like, oh, 300, and then boom, it explodes in your mouth. I'm like, wow, that's impressive. But I gotta say, I wish the finish for me, I wish the finish was just a little bit longer, just a little bit longer. You want that a little bit more strength? Though. Yeah, yeah. Okay. exactly. Let, let's try the tribe. Anyway, let's go try the tribe now. Here we go. Oh, one thing, sherry. Yeah. Straight away, there's, there's more sherry influence. There's more raisins, there's more dates, there's more sultanas in that, there's not... European Def oak, as yeah. Dolphins is probably more American oak, mm -hmm. as Tribe is, is leaning more towards Europe. You're definitely getting that dry fruit. I wouldn't even say that it was a season cast, I would go more European oak as well. I wouldn't say That's it what I would say, yeah. It was, it's not an American oak like they would usually use in season, it, it, it smells like... I would also say it's, it smells younger to me though. It smells like there's a bit of a bite there that you get associated with it a little bit. It's more. almost like what's the bucket? Which is good. Bit, yeah. you, you feel but like some of that? Yeah. <laughs> it's the Viking versus the dolphin. Yeah. The dolphin's meant to be slippery. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> what okay, did that right. take from there? <laughs> okay, let's try. All right, here we go. Dry, yeah. shrinks your mouth, pigs raisins, um, sticky toffee pudding. It's like it's very thick. It's it just covers your mouth. It explodes and then it shrinks it back again. Mm. It's definitely alcoholic fruit cake for me. Definitely. Uh, so raisins are definitely coming through. Like a um, little nuttiness as well. Yeah, but. Alongside those raisins and stuff, you still have that traditional Highland Park heathered honey character. It's not. Yeah. I, I'm. I'm not gonna ever say no to it. But yeah, two very, very different expressions from from the same distillery. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Both very well marketed. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys. Right. So for this, the entry is like pow, really vibrant, really, really, but the finish is quick. This is like more of a stealth, a softer entry. But then it has got a long finish, but not as long as I wanted. So that's what I'm gonna say about these two expressions right here. Dolphins has some secrets mm -hmm. that I can. I don't like the fact that they <coughs> made it a limited edition for for the Royal Navy, and mm -hmm. then it became available to everyone. So yeah. it's like we are writing some rules, and then we are quickly rewriting the rules. <laughs> like, I, I think it's not fair, but it works for the buzz. It works for the auctions. It works for the collectors. So okay, I've got a question for you guys, right? So with these uh, loads and loads of expressions coming out just last year alone for Highland Park, uh, but they all come out uh, non-age stated uh, and they're all limited edition or special bottlings, but we've tried these. Uh, do they stand up to the Highland Parks we've had in the past, like with the age statements on them? That's probably like the, the question of the year. <laughs> the whole internet is, is looking for this answer. Mm. Listen, I will say that as long as they keep their core range with age statements, they they have a huge fan base mm. that are waiting for these editions, for limited editions. Well, it's like you know, like a football club. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. you have a lot of people who are watching, you want some action. You want mm. some. You want some games. It's the same with them. It's. I think the problem is not in the actual distillery as it is in the in the demand on this whiskey. People want something new. I'm fine. By that, as long as they keep their 12s, 18s uh, as the core range, keep the traditional style of spirit. Yeah. Okay. I, I'd agree with him. As long as they keep that traditional statement, so you keep the 18 in there, you keep the 12 there, because they're both great drams that yeah. we've enjoyed in the past. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't mind that they make these for collectors and make these for you people know, to buy and sell. That's, that's fine by me. Okay. You know, with, with these expressions, it's not as much as about aging the spirit from Highland Park, as it is about the art of blending. Mm. So we are looking at two different styles of whiskies when we talk age statement and mm. when we talk these special releases, it's more about how they blend it, like the direction. If they want to make a whiskey that's heavily sherry, slightly more peaty, boom. If you want something more smoky, oh, sorry, more more softer, more more aged, 
then you have something like that. Okay, but what about the travel retail, the spirit of the uh, and the the uh, spirit of the animal series? They all went back to the age same. We got a which is good. apart Absolutely. from the first one, which was the spirit of the bear, and the, was it the uh, loyalty of the wolf is fourteen years old, and then yeah. the eagle. Eagle Pines, Sixteen. Or Eagle, yeah. Eagle Sixteen. Yeah, sixteen years old. So, I mean, once again, I am more than happy to see age statement on whiskey. I like, I like an age stated whiskey. Look, if you go around my house, you'll find more age stated than non age stated mm-hmm. whiskey. Um, but yeah, I, once again, I'm not upset that they're going to produce something like this. I'm just less likely to buy it. Okay. You know, once somebody from my Edrington group uh, told me. Uh, we have the most expensive whiskey in the world, which is Macallan, yeah. and we have the best whiskey in the world, <laughs> which is Highland <laughs> Park, wow. as uh, the 18 won uh, quite a few awards <laughs> back in the days. Okay. But uh, another question that people are normally saying is Highland Park is not the same. And you're absolutely right. And that's absolutely fine as whiskeys, distilleries, they are changing all over years when, when they change ownership, uh, different ideas will come in, in, into the distillery, different casks, so the whiskey is going to change, the market is changing, the consumer is changing, and that's only natural and and that how it should be. I've tried with you guys, if you remember, I've tried the 1978 vintage Highland Park, 21 years old. Oh yeah, wow, yeah, we did. And I didn't quite like it. No. Like, it felt very watery to me. It was like, okay. yeah, but I'm missing something in there. But to be fair, I did like it. So it just shows a difference in apparent yeah. opinions. Like mm-hmm. I, I did enjoy it. I didn't enjoy the two seventeens though. That uh, was it. The uh, dark and no, light. No, it was the beard on the bolt. <laughs> beard on the bolt. <laughs> wow, well, dark and <laughs> light. Anyway, guys. So here's a question for you. So say this year they're going to be launching some limited uh, edition bottlings. Um, are you going to go as crazy? Have you? Uh, as you did before, like last year, or you can do a little bit more research and hold back on yourself? I'm going to be more careful, that's what <laughs> I'm going to say. Uh, but I still, it's still one of my favorite distilleries. Okay, cool. David? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've got a lot of drinking whiskey for the next couple of years, so I'm probably going to be more careful. All right, so let's get down to it, boys. So which one did you prefer? Oh. On the paper, I would go for Tribe. Mm-hmm. In reality, I enjoy the, the Dolphins. Okay, for me, uh, I, it's, it's soft, it's rich, but I like the more vibrancy, so I'm going to go with the Tribe. On paper, same as Vass said, be Viking, but I just think the age stock comes through on the okay. yes, Dolphin. Something. It, it, has, it, like has, it has like an elegant secret. Like, there, there's something it, about it. It's like saying, I'm going to play with you. It's, 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 play the, with dolphins, you. it's the dolphins. I, that's clever. <laughs> All right. Marketing. So that's us in uh, Highland Park. We, uh, so what was that? So dolphin wins that one then? I'd say dolphin yeah. wins out of these two. But. but let's just face it, guys. For the same sort of price, we know a whiskey by Highland Park. Um, Vas, can you do the honest, please? Yeah, if, you, if these are the extremes and you mm. don't know which way to go, we think there's, there's a middle point which is uh, Highland Park Dragon Legend, yeah. which you can find in, uh, in domestic market. We think this is where Age Stoke and Heavily Sherry repeated the style of Highland Park mix up together. Yeah, yeah no. definitely agree on that point. I think all of us would pick that before oh, we took yeah. even one of these. Oh, exactly. exactly. And so, it's going to save you some money. So. Yeah, definitely. So if you've got a local Tesco's, go and see if you can pick one up. Anyway, guys, we're more Chronicles. We're going to go enjoy some more Highland Park and we out. The ball and the beard. <laughs> and the nose. And the nose. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>